morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Kiana. Come on into the room. I've been having an R&B mode all day this morning. I know it's only been, it's only like nine o'clock. <laughs> But I am, uh, I'm an early riser. I don't know who this is though, but I like it. Who song is this? Who knows what song this is? Good morning, good morning. Drop your name in the comments so I know who's in the building. Say hello when you walk into a room. <laughs> I don't know who this is, but I like it. I like that smooth groove. It helps me get into a flow. Um... A lot of times when I need to get business done, I, I turn on gangster rap. <laughs> gangster rap, a pot of coffee, and I'm up. Hey, Asa, what's up? Oh, my God, you guys. I'm, Asa, I'm so proud of you. So, you guys, listen. Asa Laveau, um, hey, Linda, good morning, is doing, uh, he, he is, the, see, okay, it's back, it's back. Asa Laveau is the genius activator. And one of the great things that he is doing right now, Asa, put the link up, put the, um, Put the link up for what you're doing. He has like a whole summit going on right now, a virtual summit. He got people from all over the world, literally, on his summit. Just amazing. Hey, Nisi, good morning. Thank you for joining. Um, so I wanted to talk this morning. I was um, last night. Chris was praying for us, and um, he said something that that um, triggered me. You can't see me. I don't understand. Asa, Linda, can you guys see me? I, I can see me on the screen. I don't know why you can't see me, Nisi. I don't know what that's about. Can the rest of you see me? <laughs> I don't know what that is. But so Chris was praying and he said something. He said, um, God, thank you for preparing a stage. Okay. Oh, Asa, so yours ended. Yours ended. Okay. You can see me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, like, is there a replay or anything that we can get, Asa? So, anyway, so Crystal said, you know, God, thank you for preparing a stage for Kiana. And I thought about that. And, you know, with the Olympics going on, it, that struck a chord with me, you know, that God would be preparing a stage for me. And I thought about the work it takes because... I have friends who have stages. I have friends who are doing just some amazing things. And I thought about the work it takes, right? And so I was thinking to myself, what am I doing today to prepare me for tomorrow? It looks like, okay, I think it's back. It's back. Okay. <laughs> Apparently we're having technical difficulties. I don't know why. Let me see. Let me just take a look. Yeah, I have all my bars, so I don't know why, but technology it is what it is so i have great friends who um have great stages uh asa laveau april franks hunt varian brandon natalie owens um i just danica turner stevens um th these are people who have great platforms and great stages and they have worked hard to build them so as i thought about the work that they have put in and i thought about the things that they have taught me along the way or the things that i've been able to share with them along the way i thought about the olympics and i said to myself i think our problem is we want everyone to know our name right off the bat and in the olympics I don't know half, I don't know uh, probably 90% of the names. And that doesn't make them less great. And the reason why is because the important people know their names. The people who need to know their names for this day and time, the people who need to know who they are, who need to know their abilities, have already connected with them. And there are people in our lives that we have already connected with that can help us to our next level and they're just waiting for us to show up. They, they're waiting for us to show up at three in the morning for practice. They're waiting for us to show up every day, um, even when we're tired. They're waiting for us to not complain about the hard work it takes. They're waiting for us to show up, show out, be ready. They don't wanna have to pump us up or prep us or pat us. They don't wanna have to do any of that. 
that is when you are ready for your world stage. When you have done the work, you have done the research, you have connected with the people. And listen, don't underestimate the power of relationships because they are exactly what you need. When you don't have relationships with people, I don't care how great you are, nobody knows you, right? And the right people don't know you because you're not building those relationships. And so it's so important for our world stage and the greatness that we need. Um, hey, <laughs> listen in here, say that. Asa says, say that. I know that's right. <laughs> but they're waiting for us to show up. And here's the thing about the people in the Olympics. Even though I didn't know their name, that did not take away their greatness. Because... Without me knowing their name, they showed up for swimming every morning. Without me knowing their name, they pushed past their limits. They went as far as possible, and then they went possible. They pushed. They they Every day, there was something. When they were sick, they were still swimming. Because everybody does it when it feels good. Very few people will stop and go, you know what? I don't care if it I don't care if it hurts. I don't care if it doesn't feel good. I'm going anyway. And that is when you are getting ready for greatness. That is the difference between the people who let things happen, who make things happen, and those who wonder wake up and wonder what happened. And if you want to be the person that makes things happen, you gotta push. You got hey Alfreda. Thanks for joining. You have to push. You got to get up early. People ask me all the time, why do I get up so early? And here's my answer. I asked my pastor one day, because he always talked about being up at 4 a.m. for prayer. And I would go, why do you do that every day? Why do you get up so early? And he said to me, I can go to bed as early as I want to, but never will I let the sun set and the, and the day beat me. And from that day forward, I get I get up early. I get up early from that day forward because I don't want the day to beat me. That's that's what champions do. They get up. They they get a jump on everything. And when you are thinking about your world stage, whether you want to be a speaker, an author, a coach, a CEO, I don't care what it is, a musician, an entertainer, you have to go. You have to push. When Michael Jordan was shooting. 5,000 jump shots a day, no one said that's too much. People wondered why people, you know, but he had his reasons. And then his legacy spoke for itself. Uh, there was a basketball player that said he got to practice, he got to the gym two hours before the game to shoot around. And when he got there, Kobe Bryant had already been there for two hours. And he had a whole new level of respect there because the great ones will do above and beyond. But if you want a world stage, you got to go even further than that. You have to push. You have to, you got to be the one motivating everyone else. You can't wait for people to motivate you. If you are the CEO and people have to motivate you, something's wrong. Nobody has time for that. Nobody has time to motivate the CEO. Hey, Erica. Thanks for joining. And if you want to be the greatest, if you want to be on that world stage, you got to push. I mentioned in my book um, that Layla, uh, I choose to be a lady.com, <laughs> that Layla Ali talked about, you know, people thinking that she was going to be a fighter just because of who her father was. And, and she said, that's not what made me want to be a fighter. She said, I was watching a fight and on the pre-fight ticket, there were women. And she said, and she left thinking about it. And then she decided she was just going to start training. And she would do it and she would push and she would not let any excuses into her mind. And that's how you change the world. And everyone has their different corner of the world to change. Everyone has a different part that they need to do. But you got to do your part. I don't care. It, as a mom, being and I, I say this all the time, for me, being a great mom means that I don't sleep until it's time to run out the house. It means I get up early. It means I wake up and I get to, to um, you know, have my coffee. I get to take my shower. I get to 
you know, pull out Kayla's clothes. I get to lay everything out. I get to do it in a relaxed environment because I'm not rushing. Being a great mom to me means that I'm not dragging her and going, hurry up, we're going to be late. We can't do that every day. We just can't. Being a good mom is that I push and I make sure that even when she doesn't want to read, even when I don't feel like listening to her read, that I got to do it. It's about going above and beyond. It's about pushing to the next level. And when you, you want to leave a legacy, when you want to have a world stage, that's what it requires. There's no way you can have a world stage being mediocre. Asa Laveau posted, he said, if it's not savage, it's average. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> because the reality is you got to go into beast mode. You got to go into beast mode every day. And every day you need to be trying to figure out if every hour you have gone into beast mode. That's the way to get to greatness. And every hour you need to be figuring out what else can I do to get into beast mode? What else can I do to make it work? What else can I do to push? But you can't do it to TV. You can't do it if everything you watch is the people on it look like you. Everything you listen to, your music, your, your news. You can't do it if you're a Democrat and all you listen to is Democratic news. That's not what greatness is. You're going to have to listen to Fox, Fox News. As crazy as it sounds, you have to do something outside. Hey, Erica, you have to do something outside of your norm. Because your norm keeps you in the box. My friend preached, uh, my friend Janita preached on Sunday. And she was talking about the woman with the issue of blood. And she was saying how... She had to press through. And, and when Jesus felt her touch the hem of his garment, he was like, hold up. Who touched me? Because I, I felt virtue leave. And they, they were like, everybody here is touching you. What you talking about? Everybody's touching you. And Jesus was like, no. No, no, no. There, there's something different about this touch. Somebody came with intention. And then she said a statement and we laughed, but I've been meditating. She said, who even told you that touching my garment was a thing? You made that up and blessed yourself. Because when you're determined and when you, when you come to get what you need, when you're not leaving without your blessing, you're going to do everything it takes. You're going to get on a plane when you're afraid to fly. You're going to write a book. When you have never done, when you've never even written a poem, you're going to do all kind of stuff when you want to do greatness, when you want your world stage. Are you ready for your world stage? And if you're not, get to work. If you're not, start reading a personal development, start understanding leadership on a whole new level. Hey, Kendra, when, when it is time. When it is time for your world stage, are you ready for your blessing? Because the stage is there. <laughs> Preach missionary Shaw, you're so funny. <laughs> but and, and I wasn't me that preached it. That was Janita that preached the sermon. But it, it really that stuck with me. Who told you that touching the hem of my garment was even a thing? You made it up and blessed yourself. And not only that, but there were people all around him. The crowd was pressing in. Everybody was touching him. But some of them were doing it out of the formality. And she said, it, like she, the way she said it was like people were treating Jesus as a concert. Next time I'm in town, I'm going. I'm going to just go and put my money in that vending machine and get that, get that blessing. <laughs> you looking for coffee, Kendra? Here it is. <laughs> that's funny but every time we need to push forward we need to do something every time we expect God to give us that platform there's work to be done are you willing to push and excuse me pardon me excuse me pardon me up let me move those out the way that I gotta move out the way are you ready for that can you 
make that happen? That's the question. Because greatness does not come to those who are just sitting there. It just doesn't. Blessings can. You can be blessed. God can bless you no matter what situation you're in, Joe. But can you push past the comfort zone? Joe Johnson just jumped in, and he's a perfect example. He just competed um, in a, what's that, where they do the muscles? Uh, <laughs> where they do the muscles. But um, he, he was in the competition, and he had to, when he was finished, he was like, I'm going to eat everything. <laughs> He go. He was like, I would eat whatever I couldn't eat because he sacrificed to get to where he wanted to be. And if you're not willing to sacrifice, what are you doing? You're not willing to skip out on getting your hair and your nails done to make sure that you have the money to make your dreams come true. What are you doing? And I can say that as somebody who has had sacrifice a lot. Sometimes you can't have your own place as much as you you know. Being with your family or living at home could drive you crazy. You really want it, you'll move back in. And you'll do the dishes and you'll have a curfew when you come home because you got a bigger goal and it's bigger than you. You want to be from cases. I, I know you like to party, but sometimes you're going to have to give up what you want to do so that you can have what you want to have it's sometimes they don't match up it is what it is but laziness has never been a factor for greatness now one person can tell you i got great on accident alan iverson said the other day he said i couldn't have been you know one of the greatest players and not go to practice you got to show up you have to show up for you you have to show up for your family you have to show up for your team and we get so caught up in the fans, the people who go to the snack machine and, and the, the vending machine line when when we go on halftime. We get caught up in those people. We caught up on the people who wear a throwback jersey or who have who purchase a jersey, but they never hit the field with us. We get caught up in those people. That's the wrong way to do it. You need to go and get caught up with some people who will light that fire. I hang with pyromaniacs all the time. People who light the fire in my soul about my business. People who get in my face. People who say, what in the heck is wrong with you? People who say, when are you moving? When are you going to do this? When are you going to... Thank you, Kendrick. When are you going to make it happen? Thank you, Linda. Everybody can't... You, you just can't be mediocre on a world stage. That's it. That's just the bottom line. So keep going. Hey, Adrena, Andrina, you can't be mediocre on a world stage. If you want the world stage, you got to push. You're going to have to sacrifice sleep. You're going to have to sacrifice money. You're going to have to sacrifice time with your family. You can't tell me that Muhammad Ali didn't miss a lot of stuff with his kids because he had to be in practice. It's the reality. And then you have to make sure that your quality time is good quality because the quantity is going to lose out because you're on a mission for greatness. And you got to be willing to do that. You have to have that conversation with people around you and remind them that as much as you would love to have that quantity, you're going to have to deal with the quality because you have a greater purpose. And if people can't get behind you, let them go. I have two. Th my thing is either back my play or move out the way. That's your only option. If you need me to call you every day, we going to miss it. I can't be in charge of your self-esteem. So if me not calling you every day hurts your feelings, bye. That's just what it is. If me not calling you, hey, Stephanie, if me not calling you, if me not being around, if I miss a meeting and now you upset, I cannot be in charge of your self-esteem and be in charge of my greatness. One of them going to have to give. I'm going to choose greatness every time. Every single time. So if you want to keep pushing forward, if you want to keep making your life 
that purpose that God has given you, you want to keep pushing that forward, you're going to have to give up some stuff, sacrifice, but get your world stage because God has prepared it for you. And it's important that you show up because there is somebody there that you're supposed to bless. There's a blessing waiting for you after you bless somebody. And blessing them doesn't mean giving them money. Sometimes it's just a word. But you got to show up to give it. Hey, Yolanda. But you have to show up to give the word. You have to show up to give everything you have. My, my best friend said, she said, I was so exhausted last night. And I know that feeling because when you leave it all on the stage. Hey, Kristen. When you leave it all on the stage, you, you just, it's so much. You get so tired, but you walk out and you knowing that you have done what God has called you to do. And everybody won't have a world stage platform, you know, in, in a Coliseum or something like that. Sometimes your world stage is right here, Facebook Live. But show up. Wherever it is, show up and give it your all. Be tired when you leave, even if it's just after 10 minutes. Be tired when you're done. Leave it all on the stage. God has never called any of us to be mediocre. Show up. Show up for you. I'm Kiana Shaw, CEO of Lead Hership Academy. Please, please, please be sure to go to ichoosetobealady.com and order your copy of I Choose to Be a Lady. I am so excited about it. Spoke to the publisher yesterday. My copies are on their way. I'm really excited. Um, I choose to be a lady. Basic life lessons for our daughter. Order a copy for a young lady in your life today. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.